Oh. What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira and today we're witnessing a sunrise right now actually over here at Ponta de San Lorenzo. Today's video is all about Ponta de San Lorenzo and I can't believe it actually took us like two years to do this. So we're in the camel today. Happy days. Look at this. Hey? She's shining. Anyway, yeah, let's get on with it. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's roll the, roll the intro. This is not easy. Maybe. Ah, yeah. Not idiot proof. Not idiot proof at all. I thought I had it. I think it's gonna stay like this. Ah, there you go. Right, we're going straight into it. We're at the start of the hike, of course. Most of you will know that at the start of every hike in Madeira, you get these boards with all of the information in it. So it's a three kilometer hike. Um, it's gonna probably take us about an hour and a half to get to the end. I don't know with the filming and whatever, but that's kind of the timeline we're looking at. We started at sunrise. This hike is fantastic to start at sunrise. So if you wanna beat the crowds, sunrise is the only time to be there. Second of all, uh, you're not always gonna see a great sunrise here in Ponte San Lorenzo. If you're lucky, you'll see it. Uh, probably one out of every three or four attempts. I used to do this hike and hit the road quite regularly. There was a time when we used to sell this hike and we used to sell it at sunrise to be different. Uh, and of course we made it our own. Uh, and I would notice after coming here so many times a week that the sunrise wasn't always guaranteed. Uh, you're probably more guaranteed even to see it up there in the mountains. So anyway, the real bonus about doing this hike at sunrise is that you get the hike to yourself. So uh, I don't know, Andrea, if we can turn around and see how many cars there are here, but you can count the, the amount of cars in the parking lot and we'll show you when we come back here how many cars there are. It's like down to the end of the road and around the corner. So uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything very, very interesting, but you know in this video, we're always, in this video series, we're always saying the best in the world, the best in the world. Check this out. You may be lucky enough to spot the world's rarest seal. Hey, the world's rarest seal. Yeah. What else, right? Let's go. There's signs everywhere on this hike, which is fantastic. There's also some good uh, rails over here as well. So it's kind of well protected. Um, and yeah, there's some really interesting uh, facts about this place. So last night I actually wanted to do a little bit of research because I'd forgotten why the name was called Ponte de San Lorenzo and it's over here. So thank you, uh, you know, to the tourism board for helping me with my homework. So uh, it's called Ponte de San Lorenzo. As far as I can tell from here is that uh, Juan Gonçalves Zarco's boat, the guys who discovered the island, uh, I believe it was called San Lorenzo. Eh? Yes, Andrea is nodding, he knows this. So uh, yeah, that's what it is. And it's quite a unique place this. You can tell it's quite dry, it's quite arid, it's very different to the rest of Madeira and uh, certainly is beautiful when you get it to yourself kind of thing. So yeah, we're gonna carry on walking. I'm gonna give you some more information about this place. We're gonna have a good time. I'm also gonna write up a blog about this, which will be in the, in the description below if you wanna do this hike, how to do it, when to do it, all that kind of stuff, all the juicy facts, all right? So uh, yeah, let's, let's carry on going. We've got more to see. I think, uh, I think Elisa has left us. She's gone, she's like a million miles ahead which means either she's stressed or we're taking too long for her. Eh? Should we find out? Because she's all the way down there. Can we see her? Elisa! Elisa! 
Veronica! Ah, she's waving. <laughs> Someone else is waving. Maybe she's Veronica too. Maybe. Maybe. If you're thinking about difficulty, this hike is uh, actually listed on a couple of websites online as moderate to easy. And some other places it says difficult. So it can be kind of confusing to know how hard this hike is. So it's not very far, it's only three kilometers, but a good part of it is going up and down steps like this, right? So a pretty good hike for you to kind of start off and feel, you know, what it feels like to be hiking here in Madeira because this is gonna kind of prepare you for a lot of the steps and things that you'll find on the more challenging hikes. So a uh, great place to, to kind of get a feel for what hiking in Madeira is like. And uh, we're starting to see some more people on the trail. It's about nine o'clock and yeah, I think people are starting to arrive. Anyway, we're gonna talk more about this in a bit. We're gonna just keep walking because I think Andrea is having a great time filming this place. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, Leave you alone with your camera. almost the end of the hike and the end is near we can see it right there so over there is a little house that is at the end of the hike it's called Caix de Sardinha or Casa de Sardinha Caix is the the part in the bottom which we'll show you in a bit um, this used to be a nobleman's house I think it was uh, it used to be part of a noble family or a family home or something like that and um, later it was uh, bought out by the government it was then a forest rangers post uh, looking after the nature around here and now it's actually a coffee shop uh, which opens uh, doesn't open straight away so if you do th this at sunrise you're gonna have to wait a little bit so we are gonna go up to the top of that little peak there and when I used to do this tour with people you know and, and hit the road I always used to kind of you know hope that they didn't want to go up there you know be like oh you can go up there if you want to you know uh, it's you know it's, it's it looks worse than it is and me inside, I was like, please don't say you don't want to go up, please, please, please. And they go, yeah, we want to go up. And I was like, all right, fine, so we're going to go up. So today we're going to go up, right? At least some of us are. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Let's go. My trusted bacon and egg sandwich on the potato bread. So yes, we, are, we have potatoes everywhere in Madeira. Pound batata, this is called. I don't know if it's actually even made out of potato. I'm sure it is, right? <laughs> mm. Oh, whoa. There goes the yolk. Mm. So good. Okay, so we're gonna head up to the top of the peak and there's actually a little like barrier here that they put here. Uh, I think there is a sign down there that looks like it's on the floor kind of thing. So, uh, you know, this is all safety things. So if you're going to be doing this kind of thing, you have to be very, very careful. Of course, it's slippery, but it is worth it. If you're going to come out in Madeira and you're going to do some hiking, then please be safe and check out our video. We made a video on this channel about hiking tips and where to hike and how to hike and all that kind of stuff is all there. Uh, this is us officially saying that we're going to jump this little fence and go up to the top. I'm sorry for anyone that uh, doesn't like it. Right. So yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, it's the South African in me. <laughs>
made it. We're at the top. It's pretty awesome up here. And uh, one of my favorite uh, parts of these views is that you can actually see a very clear distinction between the north and the south side of the island. Very often it's calm, uh, calmer seas on this side with rougher seas on that side. So you can see like this contrast. And uh, you can see all the surrounding islands as well, the deserters islands and Porto Santo. Um, and there's all sorts of awesome things to do around here. I can really see some people down there doing some kayaking. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna try and do something cool as well. So stick around, it should be fun. And maybe a little bit nerve wracking for some of us who might have to fly a drone off a boat. Hey, you've done that before, Luis? Uh, probably not. He's not scared though. He's not scared. He's not scared. He's from Camarad Lobos. It's the best they are. Best in the world. Drone pilots from Camarad Lobos. <laughs>